Hello guys and welcome back to Dr. Skins. Today we are back. So okay. And today um today we're going to be working on a uh, iron golem mo mob spawner. And um I actually got the idea off of uh, another YouTuber. Uh, this is the house I was finishing. Um so we're going to need we're going to use iron for this just because it's easier to count cuz we're going to involve counting that we need that get this all out oh we're gonna need those doors whoops okay uh, that that we're gonna need these doors we need this glass and I th oh we're gonna need water too oh water okay so I'll come back and finish this uh, Alright, uh, let me see if I can. Hold on. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Um, let's try to have the sound implemented. But this was our mob spawner, and I think I did a tutorial on that. I just don't know if I uploaded it yet. So, um, it's kind of gonna look like something like this, but a lot on a smaller scale of height wise. So, first thing we're gonna do is, um, spit out a bit. Make sure there's no far or villager. Thingy, so we're just gonna put it there. I'd say at least a hundred blocks away from a village. So, so it looks I like we're good that. here. So we're gonna build up ten blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're gonna take this out. Mm, I should name him Spiky. That like that like that like that. Like that. And you now you just wanna build a ten by ten Maze platform. That? So it'd be like. One, two, three, four, eh, mini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I name, I name my dog. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're a witch. Iron golem. I need an iron golem. One, two. You're saying? I'm sorry. Can you move? Does your house look like? It's in that deep hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. And yeah. should hey, be able spiky. to connect these now. Yep. Like that. And then you want to fill this in. So once you fill this in, we'll check back in. Okay, so once you have your 10 by 10 square, uh, what you want to do next is put a 2 by 2 hole in the middle, dead center of the um, 10 by 10 square. Okay, next step is to basically go boom, not fall, build a three block high wall, like that. So once you're done with that, uh, I'll check back in. Okay, so once you're done building the three high wall, uh, next step you're going to do is put the glass in the corners, and this is to prevent uh, mob spawning in the f f uh, generator and stuff like that and killing your villagers so on and so forth and then after that you want to get uh, 40 doors together and start placing doors on the outside here so now this um, the reason we're placing doors on here is because the more doors you have is, um, the more villagers will uh, produce pr um, spawn. Blah, 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 not spawn um, no, mate. Oh, I'll just uh, mate. Yeah, mate. And then to classify as a house, you wanna kind of um, basically it has to be. Let me see if I can do it. Like so. Yeah, it has to be. Um, like kind of like over the door or something like this to be considered like a house. So. If, what I mean by that is like, so let's say if you just have a door, um, now you don't have to have this around it, I'm just doing it to put the block up there. So, now the game considers it a house, because there's a block on top of the door, and there's a bottom one. So, there's a skeleton. So once you do that, uh, I'll meet back up with you in a minute. Okay, so once you have this second floor filled in, uh, you also want to make sure this hole is lined up with this bottom one. That way, all your iron golems is hitting the same hole. And next thing you want to do is build another wall. 
Um, now we're going to have it set on the outside again, like we did to the last one. Uh, this one is only going to be too high though, so we're going to fill this one in. Because this is where the glass comes into play. Um, I'll show you in a minute. Let me fill this in real quick. So, I'll, I'll probably show, I probably should mention this in the beginning of the introduction. I, would, didn't, I could have swore I had some place, but I guess not. Anyways, um, that this is a two or eight. Uh, hey, yes, a uh, two four spawn pad. Um, now I, I guess I can always throw in the title, but anyways, it's it's a two floor, so they could either spawn in here or they can spawn inside there. Um, the only reason being is because um, since there's so many doors, and when the villagers start producing, there's going to be a crap ton of villagers, so or not villagers, um, iron golems. So it's kind of easier to uh, have them that way they're not like you know lagging out and coming out of like the block and stuff so it's just easier to have a second platform to take some off the first platform so you're gonna fill this in with glass and we'll get to the next step okay now once you got that done you're gonna place this water in the four corners and that's all you really need to do and it should not go over the hole and it should even out as you can see here, I'm just double checking because I had trouble with the 10 by 10 platform, but now it's starting to look good. So we're going to place that one in here. Okay. One in there. And one in there. And one in there. Now let's move on to the next step. Okay, for the next step is you're going to be going to be building the villager palace. Now this is... Uh, one thing about this design, it's easy. Um, all you need to do is you just need one pouch. So I'm going to be able to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, Okay, there we go. Um, what's nice about this one uh, compared to other ones is that you don't need to have um, like multiple pouches like other ones like you just need you just need one for this one um most of the other ones uh you're gonna need like two or three or four well this one you just need one and then you want to get the villagers in here now if you're doing a let's play world or just like a survival thing you're obviously not gonna have a villager spawn egg so you're probably gonna need to build a system to somehow bring them up here like a maybe like a rail system um, I'll try to have a link on a good one in, this, in the description below for you guys if I find one. Uh, you're just going to place one. I didn't measure this out right. Hold on. There we go. Then you're going to place another villager. And we're going to cover them up like so. Sorry. And there you get that's your villager pouch. And these guys will start mating, as you can see. I don't know if, if I have my thing on. But you'll see hearts go around them, and they'll get close to each other, and then a bait will pop out. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, for the next step, you're going to build where the iron golems are actually going to be executed and um, killed. So now you can build a filter system, um, which that is, is like. Um, where the hoopers actually divide, where, where, um, <coughs> where these hoopers actually divide what goes into them. So, like, since you know how iron golems carry uh, flour and iron, you can have it divided as up for one chest to receive flour and the other chest to receive iron. I'm personally not gonna really toy with that, only because I suck at using redstone. Um, I will have a link, however, in the description below. Um, to a uh, how to build one of those if you want to build one. <coughs> I'm personally not going to do it in this video just because I don't really care where it goes. So we're going to get this set up here. Okay, so once you build that, where are you guys coming from? Uh, 
out of here. Hey. That means you too. Okay, so once you build that, listen, Hemi. You, you can't just, you know, walk up in here. I'm trying to show these nice people a goddamn tutorial. Hey, hey, midget, that means you too. Get out of here. Okay, so once you did your glass, I mean, you don't have to necessarily have his glass, but I'm personally going to have his glass. You're going to want to put your chest down. Um, now, like I said, it's going to look different um, from where the original person that made this, because uh, he had a different setup on the kill thing. Um, I'm going to have it set up as, you know, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Hmm, maybe put the chest up here. No, because the thing's going to fall. Well, you know what? I got an idea. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the chest here. Uh, chest here. Okay, like so. And we're going to um, do that. Do that. So these two are hooked into that chest. This, these two are hooked into that chest. And I'm flying. So that's how you. That's how I'm gonna set up in the video. Like I said, the original person that did make this um, did not have it set up because he had a different uh, tube tubing here. And the next thing you want to do is put the signs in. Now, the, what the signs are gonna be used for is for the lava, because that's how we're gonna execute the uh, gold people. Or the cold people, the iron golem. So you're just gonna put a sign there, a sign there, and a sign there, a sign there, and then uh, uh, get your lava. Place it there. Now this is gonna prevent it from falling. You're gonna stay in there, and there you go. You have your execution tube. Now, if you're picky like me, you can have it. Uh, you know, even out a bit. I'm personally just gonna just do that just because it looks uneven. But uh, this is your tube setup. Uh, now I'll have the link in the description if you want to check out the other guy's tutorial. But this is the tutorial for him. Let's see if these guys are spawning any babies yet. Doesn't look like it yet. Make babies. You know what? Let me check some. Yeah, particles. Particles. Where's my particles? We'll do uh we'll do minimal because that might be why I can't see the hearts. Uh, no, what what are you doing? You can't push them in a corner, you big manny. Oh, I'm sorry. But uh, once these villagers start responding, um, it should produce babies. Now, um, let's say if like these iron doors didn't work because the things in the way which they should it doesn't really matter because either way they're getting covered overhead so like this is covering so it's considered a um, a uh, house so it's considered a house no matter what and then in the end you just gotta wait be patient really it's kind of like a waiting game for these guys um, I'm gonna expand this out a bit because they look too clustered and like that Now, um, you can always, like, trade with them to increase it. And like I said before, you're, if you're eventually, if you're playing survival mode or, like, a let's play, you're going to have to build a uh, rail system up to it. And I'll have a description in the... Uh, oh, yes, I will have a description. I'll have a link in the description below. That sounds better uh, for you guys in case you don't know how to build a rail system for these guys. Um, it's not hard, really. Um, it's a little complicated. If you're good with redstone... Um, and it's not complicated, but if you're bad, definitely watch the tutorial, it will help. Uh, and with that guy, that said, you just gotta wait for those guys to start producing, to have enough uh, babies, and then you should see the iron golem start spawning in now. If I'm right, there shouldn't be a village out anywhere. It wouldn't be at least 100 blocks away. But even if so, I'm pretty sure I built it right. Uh, I'm just gonna double tap real quick. It looks pretty clear to me. There is a hole. Oh, there is a village. See. But that's about a hundred blocks away. Or so. Anyways, guys. Uh, either way, I know for sure I built this right. Um, 
like I said, I'll have a link in the description below for those things or videos for like the rail system and the um, actual person that built this, uh, the way he built his ending tube. Uh, it's not hard, it's just personally, I don't really care. I'm not picky like that. You want to make sure you have your chub chest, but it seems like just the regular chests are having problems. So now I just gotta play the way in game. Make babies. I demand you. I will poke you in your nose. <laughs> With my samurai sword. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, that's French. Wah, wah. Look at him. He's a... He's a... Hi, uh, how you doing? Yes, I see your sword. Okay, that looks wrong. So many levels. But anyways, guys, like, if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next gameplay video. Look. <laughs> okay, so, just to prove you guys, they did make a baby, as you can see. Um, I just think I have my porticles on on a different setting set so I'm not seeing the hearts and uh so like I said you just gotta play the waiting game really and once the waiting game starts you got your unlimited supply or generator of iron so I'll see you guys in the next gameplay video and thanks for watching guys